Welcome back to The Rhyme Report. I am your host, Adam Dash, and this is what happened this week in hip hop. Double XL, who is in a constant battle with Beat Out with who can make the worst list, just dropped their 2024 Double XL freshman cover. This year is featuring the Mexican OT, Big X the Plug, Cash Cobain for Bats, and many more. The headline on the cover read Not Like Us, while the pockets of the writers who chose us read Money Trees. Kendrick Lamar brought us one of the biggest moments in hip hop history, definitely one of the biggest moments in my 23 years of life. With his Not Like His show live in Los Angeles, he had every California rapper on stage. He made artists and gangs put aside years of beef to come together to unite the state against one common enemy. That awful Canadian accent. Because if the business is true, that you left your moms in the hood, somebody go smoke that you. You don't leave your moms nowhere. You have money and you left your moms there? Yo, you're sick to my stomach, fam. At the show, Kendrick Lamar performed his number one hit, Not Like Us, six times, which is only half as provocative as Kanye and Jay-Z doing a certain song in Paris 11 times. But Kendrick better be careful or over your mark has something to say about it. And at the show, Kendrick achieved something that hasn't been done on a stage in LA in years. He brought a smile to Russell Westbrook's face. I mean, we know why DeMar DeRozan was there. This Who's guy. talking? Smart mouth over Smart here. Smart mouth, what's your name? DeMar. DeMar. <laughs> DeMar. Okay. DeMar, DeMar I say it, the less I like it. West Side Gun announced that he'll be releasing his next album, Fly God is an Awesome Guy 3 soon, which is a lot better than his original working title, Saddam and Celine. ASAP Rocky announced that he'll be releasing his long-awaited next album, Don't Be Dumb, soon in August. It's set to feature Tyler, the creator, Alchemist, Madlib, and many more. And Ty Dolla Sign said in a new interview that Vultures 2 can drop at any time. And I trust both of these headlines as much as I trust that Justin Timberlake doesn't take performance-enhancing drugs. And in huge news for people who had the Not Like Us concert on mute until they saw Steve Lacey and Tyler the Creator come on stage, Camp Flognaw is coming back for its 10 year anniversary this November and... Yep, fans are already booing that Frank Ocean isn't headlining. It was announced this week that Pusha T and No Malice are coming back together for the first Clips album in over a decade, and it will also be executive produced by Pharrell Williams, as Pharrell continues to try to white out Chad Hugo's career like it's a Saturday night football game at Penn State. Offset and Gunner are set to drop a new single called Style Rare soon, while J. Cole was spotted in the streets of New York City filming a music video with T. Grizzly, as he continues to live the amazing carefree life of riding New York City bikes in the summer, going to the beach, and grippies. After the internet flamed her original cover because it depicted the title Y2K in a trash can, Ice Spice just dropped a brand new alternate cover that's much better. She also dropped a single called Fat Butt with a bass that sounds like my stomach after Chipotle. YG is set to drop his new album August 6th, and he began the new rollout by taking Bobby Altoff throughout the streets of Compton, and I can't wait for this to become a trend. I mean, I can't wait to be scrolling on TikTok, and I see Lil Durk on O Block with Alex Earl. And that's what happened this week in hip hop.